up the temple, building up the temple, building up the temple of the Lord together. Boys come and help us, girls come and help us, building up the temple of the Lord. Twajenga hekalu, twajenga hekalu, twajenga hekalu ya bwana pamoja wamlana saidi, wishana saidi, twajenga hekalu ya bwana. Happy Sabbath, children. Welcome to our children's sermon today. Last month, Primary A took us through the children's sermon. This month, we have Primary B walking us through the children's sermon. The first week of August, we had the wonderful story from Teacher Nancy. Last week, Teacher Nelly continued with Paul's journey, and we had the wonderful miracles performed by Paul. Now, today, we'll continue with the Paul's journey. But before we start, I'll introduce myself together with the children with me. My name is Teacher, Na teacher Elsie. My and name, with me. My name is Juzi, Judith Okelo. My name is Esther Okelo. My name is Joel Okelo. And my name is Georgia Moyombago. Thank you very much, children. Before we start, I'll request Judith to pray for us. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, Please help the boys here in, at home, boys and girls here in church and at home understand what we are going to teach them today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Judith. So last Sabbath, uh, what did we learn? George Amoyo, kindly tell us. We learned how God did extraordinary miracle through Paul. Amen. And what are we learning this Sabbath? This Sabbath, we are going to learn about the riot in Ephesus from the book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 21 to 14. Amen. Thank you, Esther. What does the memory verse today tell us? Our memory verse is taken from, from the book of First Colossians, chapter 1, verses 13. And it says, he delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of the son he loves. Amen, Judith. Thank you very much. So, children, last Sabbath, we had the wonderful story of Paul, uh, where we saw people took clothes, they took handkerchiefs. When Paul prayed for these handkerchiefs and they were taken back to the sick people, they were healed. Uh, at that same time, we saw some Jews who tried imitating what Paul did. They went to pray for demon-possessed people. But unfortunately, they were not spiritually strong. So the demon-possessed people attacked them. They were badly beaten. They bled, and they ran away. It was a very funny experience. So today, we'll continue from that point. And uh, at that, uh, after this incident, we saw that Jesus' name was held in very high honor. And uh, Paul continued with his journey to Macedonia. But before he continued, there's a decision uh, he made. He decided to stay in the province of Asia. Now, at that time, we had two companions of Paul. Who are they and where did Paul send them? Yes, Joel? Their names were Erastus and Timothy. And Paul sent them to Macedonia. Thank you very much. So at that same time, there was a very great disturbance about something called the way. Uh, Judith, kindly tell us, what is the way or who is the way? And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. Amen. Thank you for quoting John chapter 14, verse 6. So the people in Ephesus were very much disturbed. They did not know who to follow. They did not know should they follow our God in heaven or the gods they were making. Now, at that same time, there was a very famous person. Who was this person and what was he doing? Yes, Esther? The famous person was called Demetrius, and he was making silver shrines of the goddess Artemis. Thank you very much. So Demetrius was very famous. He was making the goddess. And this goddess was being worshipped in Ephesus. It was a very common thing happening there. But there's something that was bothering Demetrius. He was so worried. 
and there's something he acted upon. What was Demetrius worried about and what did he do? Yes, Joel? Demetrius was worried about what Paul said. And Paul said that God made by, God, God's made by human hands are not God. So he called all the workers and told them, workers of the Workers of the goddess Artemi, you know our prosperity comes from this work, and you hear what this Paul is saying. He's going to make our business go down, and our business will have a bad name. So the so the men started shouting, "Great is Artemis of Ephesus!" Amen. Chain for Jesus, Joel. So they shouted and shouted, great is Artemis of Ephesians. For a very long time, they shouted for actually two hours. The whole city joined the riot, and the riot continued. People crowded. It was like the whole of Nairobi shouting, and the noise was growing bigger and louder and louder. At that same time when the riot was happening in Ephesus, something happened to Paul's companions. What happened to them? Yes, George Amoya? They were arrested. Yes, unfortunately, Paul's companions were arrested. They were taken to the theater. Paul heard about this. What did Paul do? Yes, Judith? He wanted to go in front of the theater, but the other believers stopped him. Amen. He was stopped and he was told, Paul, no, 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 you cannot follow those people. If you try following them, you will be killed. You have to stay behind. So Paul stayed behind. Now after that, something again happened. A very famous person came up, and what did he do while the riot was still happening? Yes, Esther? Mm, when the riot was still happening, he said, fellow Ephesians, why are you rioting like this? Yet these men you have arrested have not stole or said, or robbed the goddess Artemis, or said any bad things, uh, uh, or said any bad things about the goddess Artemis. Uh, you will be accused of a riot. So stop shouting like this. Amen. Thank you so much. And the city clerk stopped the riot, and they went silent, and he dismissed the crowd. We serve a very faithful God. Paul was very happy. His companions were released. They united together. He called his disciples and he continued encouraging them. And together they sang this song. God gives to all his children talents for great and small. My gifts belong to That I do. I want to be faithful through every test. I want to be faithful. I'll give you my best. I want to live for Jesus. I want to please God's Son. If He has found me faithful, I'll hear Him say. children, I'd like you to share what are some of the lessons you've learned from this story. Yes, Judith? I've learned that we should spread the good news of God like Paul did. Amen. Thank you very much. George, what do you learn from this story? Never worship idols. 
We should never worship idols. Amen. Esther, what do you learn? I learned that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And Joy, what do you learn? I learned that we should put God first. Perfect. Thank you very much. And I, Teacher Elsie, have also learned that if we confess our sins like the Jews, then God is faithful and just and is ready to forgive us. So thank you, children. We'll close with a word of prayer from George. Thank you, Lord. Help for a word of prayer. I want to pray. I will ask together, close my eyes, and then I pray. Thank God for this children. Someone, and may you make us be as bold as Paul. Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 So thank you so much, children, for joining us today for the children's sermon. See you again next Sabbath. For now, bye! bye.